I'm Jamie Ryan, I'm the Head of Performance Analysis with the GWS Giants AFL Football Club. I found out about virtual performance analysis uh, actually through their website initially. The benefits of using the uh, 17 and a half metre mask system that Luke McCoy and virtual performance analysis provide, it gives, it gives us a, a unique opportunity for, it's a portable solution so we can take it to any, any ground uh, to, for our reserves games but more importantly it provides us with a, a solution at training uh, both here and, and abroad. We utilise the mask system uh, via the sports cam that's mounted on top of it. Uh, it. It basically takes all of our behind the goals footage um, for training and for, for games. Uh, the coaches use that footage in combination with uh, side angle footage and drone footage um, as an education tool uh, through Sports Code. When we moved into our new facility a bit over two and a half years ago, we initially put up a scaffold that sat about 15 metres in the air. Um, it, it, whilst it served a purpose at the time, we couldn't get direct behind the goals for our facility. Uh, for a lot of our training footage, we need it directly behind the goals. Um, that's where the mast system came in. Um, it's portability and the extra two and a half metres of height it gave us for behind the goals footage uh, really gave us a much better educational tool. Recently we acquired a, a golf buggy that we, was customised. Uh, basically we transport the pole and the, all of the components out onto the back oval for us. Uh, there's a, a permanent uh, base that's set up there for us so we, we move the, the pole from the, the golf cart uh, onto the permanent base. Uh, we've got some steel guy wires that have been measured out. So everything just locks into place. It's quite a neat little solution. Uh, the golf buggy provides us uh, with the power to run the camera and run our capture solution as well. And it, it also has a, a canopy built into it so we get shade through that. So the golf buggy's been a nice little addition in terms of our, our total solution. I think, as with anything, you, it takes a little bit of time to get used to a large mast being 17 and a half metres up in the air. Uh, the effect of, of wind, um, it, it does have a, a, an element of uncertainty when you first start using it, uh, but once you, you realise that the whole thing's roped down, it's very stable, it's got a very solid, stable base, um, you know, provided that you, you you tick all the boxes in terms of setting it up. It's a very, very safe, uh, secure solution. The pole, because it's, it's roped down, um, it's very stable in terms of the wind. Where we're located, we're actually on top of a hill. Uh, so wind is, wind is a major concern for us. So we've used steel guy wires that are actually have fixed points in, in a concrete surface. So that gives us total stability. Uh, prior to that, we had measured out ropes with steel pegs and they, they were, that was a great solution as well. Um, in terms of the, the rain, um, it's really the pole and the camera work 100% within the rain. It's more just the operator and the, and the camera. So we just use a large canopy, put that over the operator and it's a, a total solution for us.